What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is David here with Mac Tutorials 14. In this video, I'm going to show you guys CarPlay iOS Preview 2. Alright, guys, so today we do have a really, really good tweak with us today it is carplay ios so you guys might remember me reviewing a different tweet called ignition a while back basically this is the same thing except a little bit different so let's go ahead and jump into it so as you guys can see when we open up the application this is preview 2 so the you know the major thing you guys are going to note here is the fact that there are two new applications a phone app and a settings app so this was actually previously a tweak it was pre u1 but for some reason on my iphone 5 and ipad mini first generation uh there was a bug i guess that it just did not work so the developer has actually completely fixed that and it works flawlessly on iphone 5 and ipad mini first generation so if you have any reservations about that you're on the fence about installing it uh and you have an iphone 5 or an ipad mini first gen just know that uh um, you know, the bugs and um, crashes with the iPhone 5 have been fixed. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and open up the music application. So you guys can see it looks definitely a lot similar to the CarPlay application or tweak called Ignition that I showed off in a previous video. So as you guys can see here, a lot of the things look exactly the same as they did before um, with Ignition. So again, this is preview two. There was a there was one preview already, but I did not actually get to show that off because preview one was not actually working on my device. It would keep crashing, and I would not be able to fix it. So as you guys can see, we can go into now playing, and I'm playing Uptown Funk, great song by the way. Um, so as you guys can see, we have a virtual home button over there, just like we do for ignition. And it, you know, to the left, it looks pretty much the same exact way as ignition. So as you guys can see here, there is a phone app now at ignition there is actually a messages app but there is not a phone app so this is a little bit different than what we have in on ignition um, so let's go ahead and check that out so I'm gonna go ahead and launch the phone app right now all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and tap on the phone app and as you guys can see we are in our favorites so um, this basically is streamlined with the rest of iOS so as you guys can see here if I click on contacts get on my contacts click on keypad I can actually dial a number and actually call that number but we're not gonna do that in this video it actually does work I have tested it out so that is basically the phone app you can go ahead and access voice messages all that kind of cool stuff so now we have the settings app let's go ahead and look through that all right, guys, so the first thing here is automatic locking. So it says your device will lock itself when you disconnect the charger. For example, connect your iPhone when you're driving in your car, and when you turn off the engine, your phone will lock itself. So this is definitely really, really cool. So if I actually go ahead and connect this to a power source and enable this, then back out and actually disconnect the phone from a power source, you will see it'll lock the phone down in three, two, one. And as you guys can see, it locks the phone. So by far, definitely one of my favorite features so far of preview 2 I'm really glad the developer actually implemented this in preview 2 um, so it's really really cool how you're actually able to plug it in unplug it and then it just locks it uh, straight from there. the next thing that we have is right driver so it actually enables the option to move the menu bar to the right hand side of the screen so by default uh, the menu bar is over to the left hand side corner of the screen where it says uh, the current time the Wi-Fi and also the um, the virtual home button so if we actually toggle that on boom it goes over to the right hand side corner of the screen we can actually go ahead and just toggle that back off though because I'm a lefty so I like it where it is and then after that you have automatic update so it'll actually automatically open up Cydia to get the latest update available that's actually toggled on by default um, and I don't know if there's any way to untoggle that and then the next thing that we have is icon size so this is pretty big so you can actually change the icon size of the icons on the springboard so right now by default it's set to 100 so um, we can actually go ahead and tweak that to 75% and when we back out you guys are going to notice as you guys can see that the icons are definitely a lot smaller than they were before um, you know before we actually did that so as you guys can see now we're on 50 and they're a lot smaller now so that is basically um, you know just just icon you know resizing so as you guys can see you know I'm just demoing that it does work um, that everything still works hundred percent perfectly fine and um, we're just gonna throw that back up to hundred percent just because it looks its best on hundred percent 
So now we're actually going to go into settings and go in about, and uh, it actually says CarPlay iOS version 0.92, so it is preview 2. There's actually a link to PayPal, the developer wanted me to mention that uh, in the about section, so go ahead and feel free to donate uh, because the developer does work super, super hard on this, and thank you to P CarPlay iOS, the developer um, of CarPlay iOS, ironically enough. Thank you so much uh, to him, and this is definitely, you know, Definitely a great alternative to Ignition if you can't make it work 100%. They have, they link to Twitter, Instagram, and then a mail, and then, um, you know, it'll, it shows you all the credits for uh, United States, um, or not United States, but English and a bunch of different languages. But as you guys can see, when I go ahead and just back out of it, there you go, I'm on my normal springboard. So this is different than Ignition, where if I wanted to actually just go back on my springboard, I would actually have to just respring my device. All right, guys, and this is definitely a great Ignition alternative. So if you guys want to see what Ignition is, what I'm talking about, I did actually previously create a video on the Jailbreak Tweak Ignition. Uh, it's actually by Adam Bell, a different developer. So if you guys want to see that, it'll be down in the description below. So if you guys want to see a comparison of how this stacks up against Ignition, uh, then go ahead and go down in the description below where you can see. And also, it seems as though the future for CarPlay iOS is bright. The developer said that he will integrate FaceTime.app, Messages.app, and Maps.app into future previews of CarPlay iOS. But anyway, guys, I'll let you decide. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This week is called CarPlay iOS. Ironically enough, it's by CarPlay iOS as well. It's an awesome CarPlay UI for iOS 8. Preview 2, which was shown off in this video, will be available in the Big Boss repo this Tuesday. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is David, signing out. Peace.